let's do a face. I'm going out to dinner and I thought you didn't eat out. Well, I don't usually. Uh, I think the last time we ate out was when we were in the mountains back in September, early September. I'm going to begin by putting this Genifique on my face. I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair and blow dried it and used my oval curling wand. I have not fluffed it out yet. I'm going to let it set first. Okay. Now, I'm going to use an eyeshadow primer. I think I'm going to use the Tarte today. It's this thing. I'll list exactly what it is in the description box. So I've really enjoyed that duochrome pink that looks like expensive pink, but it's actually my tie from, from Makeup Geek. So I'm gonna put that on first. We're going out to eat sushi. I'm gonna use this brush. I don't know, I don't recognize this brand. It's just a random brush. And like I said, I'm gonna use my tie. All right, I need, I need an eyeshadow that's not. I'm pulling out the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. And I'm gonna take Magma and put that in the crease. So we're watching a season of Schitt's Creek. I did I thought they were done. I didn't know there was that they were gonna keep making them. It's the season where David and Patrick are getting married. I think Maura is so funny. Okay, there's that. Now I want to put something dark in the outside corner. So, I'm gonna take a deep dive. I like the Natasha Denona palette all on its own, but I'm really digging that shifty pink from Makeup Geek, that duo cream. This is a Jaclyn Hill brush. It's a pointy 33. It's like a, pen, a fluffy pencil brush. Okay, now I need an eyeliner. Mm, yeah, 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 I decided I did. I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use Pillow Talk between my lashes. And then I'm gonna get a Q-tip and smudge it. I'm going to try to keep it down low though. Same thing on this side. Duh, Jenny. The pillow top between my lashes and then smudge it with a Q-tip and try to keep it low. But that my tie got underneath somehow. That's okay. Put some pillow talk underneath. Brush 
brows. I'm going to take the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Rub them in the wrong direction. And then I'm going to take Brow Gal, Tanya Crooks brand. She's now come out with arches and halo that you can get at Target. But this brow gal you can get at, I think, Nordstrom. Yesterday I didn't have time. Yesterday I was going to go by Target and check on the arches and halo and see what it looked like in person. But I got busy with the at the CVS trying to figure out what to take for to help me sleep. I did not find anything. I took my product that I have here at the house that has melatonin in it. And I had the same outcome I usually have, which is I didn't sleep any better. And I had a hangover this morning. And I did take it earlier than I usually take it. Before, you know, a couple of hours before bed. So anyway, I didn't have time to go to Target yesterday. Which probably saved me some money. Okay. Now I'm going to put some eyelash primer. First I'm going to curl my lashes. This is Tarte Opening Act. And now I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, Pull the top, push up lashes, push up, push up lashes. All right, I'm going to let those dry. In the meantime, I'm going to take my Smashbox pen. It's the always on. And that didn't work out well at all. Get some eye makeup remover. What shall I put that on? Put it there.
Okay. There's that experiment. Let's try the lower portion now. I want that sharp. I'm going to use my Tile Ford pencil. I have a brand new pencil sharpener. It's never where I need it to be though. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and put that right here. like that, put some underneath, down the middle of my nose. Okay. This is my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. Alright, let's do the foundation. Actually, I need... Let's use the Bobbi Brown Face Base. Remember I said I bet it has the same effect as the Lumayer. Oh, it smells so good. And the face face seems like a bargain after looking at the prices of the cream, the Lumayer cream. Oh shoot, I wiped my nose kind of highlight off. Oh well, we can put it back on. Let's put on, I'm using the Dior Forever Foundation again and a wet beauty blender. It's damp, leaning, wet. I like to leave more water in it. So the book I'm reading, it's Alex 6, I think. It's twisted. You probably don't want to read it, but I'm into it now. <laughs> I think I've read half of it. So I'm going to finish it now. It's not so twisted that I would put it down after I paid for it. Next time I go to the hair salon, I'm having her cover up those grays, even if it does mean losing some of the blonde. The grays make me unhappy. Okay, so there's the foundation. Let's do Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer this I really it really does it says it it gives it a filter effect I think it really does I'm gonna pull out the, the setting powder next I'll use that in the places where 
where I'm not bronzing and see if I can have an airbrushed effect everywhere. So I put the, what is it called? The flaw, airbrush flawless finish skin perfecting micro powder in these areas. And now I need a blush. And I'm going to use Tom Ford. Like that. Now I'm going to use a real highlight as my highlight today. I don't know what I'm going to use though. Let's use the Peach Glow from Laura Geller. And I'm going to take the Morphe. And I'm going to use my favorite lip pencil is in my makeup kit. Darn. I think I'm going to get it. What happened in here with the lighting? There, that's better. This looks a little garish. There. I'm going to take the, I hope it's in here. I hope I don't have to keep looking. There it is, found it. The Myth by House Laboratories. that I wanted is not in here. Oh well, we'll use the Tom Ford Impulse. That's really yummy. I think I messed up my brows on and put on my foundation. So I'm going to fix that. Okay, we'll pan out, shush my hair, give it some height in the crown. I'm all out of my smoothing shampoo. I think it matters. I enjoyed making this look for you. I hope you enjoyed it. In the comments, let me know if you have a favorite lip liner and let us know what it is so we can all go check it out. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Ta-ta!